Good morning, Jackton Nerdy fans. Jeremy here with another review video. Today we are reviewing the newest Predator movie entitled Prey, uh, which has just gone live on Disney Plus and Hulu. Now, before we begin that review, as always, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on a video. And if you do enjoy these videos, please make sure that you give them a thumbs up. That way that lets us know that you're enjoying our content and encourages us to keep going. So now with that out of the way, Prey on Disney Plus and Hulu, directed by Dan Trechenberg. Uh, now, I, if you're anything like me uh, and you are a massive Predator fan, um, this is a great movie, um, hands down. Um, I am a great big Predator f uh, fan. I grew up on these movies, especially the original with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, to me, that's the OG. No movie has ever come close to uh, comparison to the original. Um, but this movie comes pretty damn close, uh, I have to say. So this one, if you're not already aware, I mean, the trailers have been all over the place and everything, but this Predator movie is uh, kind of a prequel. It's set all the way back in the days of the first Settlers of America um, and basically follows the story of the Comanche uh, Indians, um, uh, in particular, one of the young female uh, members of the tribe, uh, pr uh, uh, portrayed by actress Amber Mid thunder who was absolutely fantastic in this actually i really enjoyed her performance and watching her work she was she was absolutely brilliant so um basically just to give you an overall idea it's your typical you know predator story predator comes to earth and hunts and it hunts the most dangerous animals and people that it can find um, Amber Midthunder is a young woman in the Comanche tribe who wants to prove herself as a hunter and not just the tip, you know, perform the typical female roles in the tribe. She wants to be a hunter. Um, and it basically follows her story of just trying to prove herself within the tribe. But then obviously all hell breaks loose when the predator arrives. Now, um, so obviously it's not your typical kind of Predator movie where there's, you know, big hulking men carrying machine guns and explosives and things like that. Um, obviously, being the Comanches, they're very lean, not very overly muscular, um, and they're using very primitive weapons, bows and arrows, spears, all of those sorts of things. Um, so you may think, how the hell can something like that compete against an advanced alien race with lasers and you know very advanced weaponry they do a fantastic job of explaining all of that in this movie um and and showing you the different techniques and different things um so they they do a very very good job of just kind of you know showing you and, and the other thing you've got to realize as well, like, so this is not set in present day. It's set way back when. So obviously alien technology, just like human technology, will advance over decades and decades and decades. So this is really set decades in the past when, yes, okay, their technology still was more advanced. However, it wasn't adv as advanced as it is in the other movies. You know, so to them... To them as a race, the Predators, it was probably archaic and primitive weaponry as well. They would probably view it as that, just like we view spears and arrows and things as primitive to us. So, you know, so it, it's all comparative. It is all comparative, but they do do a fantastic job of kind of explaining how this person can fight against such a strong and overbearing adversary so they do a fantastic job there um <coughs> sorry um i've also been hearing a lot of reports online coming out of the native american community saying that the director did a fantastic job of portraying um 
their culture and their different ways of doing things and everything as well. So it's a very, um, from what I've been hearing, obviously, I mean, I'm no expert, but from what I've been hearing, um, big big thumbs up to Dan for doing, uh, for doing such an honest portrayal of what life was like back then and, and the culture and everything as well. So that's always nice to hear as well. You know, it's not just, you know, they've just gone and made their own decisions and taken their own liberties. They've actually kind of held true to what the culture and the times were supposed to be like and, and what have you. So, so that's kind of nice as well. Um, and, I would be remiss without saying that in true Predator fashion, there are some awesome, gruesome, violent kills spread throughout this movie, which, um, guilty pleasure of mine, I take, I kind of enjoy watching those sorts of things because it's all in fantasy. It's sci fi. It's, you know, and you, you want, I mean, especially like with a property like this, there needs to be blood. There needs to be guts. There needs to be, you know, it's a violent property just in its purest nature. So you want to see some, you know, kind of brutality and, and things like that. And they didn't they didn't shy away from that, which is really good. Obviously, because Fox is now owned by Disney and, you know, Disney being the, the, the family-friendly property, you don't want them dumbing down these types of properties just because the, the umbrella company is family-friendly. So they're doing a good job in keeping the Fox properties, you know, your typical MA15 R rating, you know, um, and not shying away from the violence and the blood and, and what have you. So that's that's very good as well. Um, so all in all, look, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, as a Predator fan, I, I, I think it fits it fits right into the franchise very very well. Um, there are obviously there are callbacks to the original movie, and there are also callbacks to the sequel, Predator Two, um, which help kind of tie it in to the franchise and so you could very easily go okay yep predator one yep okay good og love it predator two to me it's still a great movie i enjoy it immensely obviously you know it's it's mixed reviews out there with people but i enjoyed it so predator two yep okay so you watch predator one you watch predator two then you kind of go oh you know the ending of predator two that was very interesting then this movie comes in as a prequel to explain the Easter eggs at the end of Predator 2. So, if you don't already know, end of Predator 2, uh, Danny Glover's character gets handed a gun by one of the elder Predators, and he looks at it and it says, has an engraving, blah, 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 1715. And it's an old flint you know, pistol. This movie now tells you the kind of the story behind that pistol, which is very, very interesting. And and, and look, to be honest, this whole movie was a, a was a great breath of fresh air. Um, you know, whilst you know it holds true to the time old tradition of other Predator movies, you know, um, into into that you know today's society and you know the way things are in Hollywood at the moment. It was a bit of a breath of fresh air, you know. It's it's a, a bit of a fresh concept telling a story based back in the Comanche days, focusing on the Comanches, not not the settlers, but the Comanches. And then you tie in the whole sci-fi aspect of it as well, and it was just something different. It was different from you know the superheroes and the Star Wars and the you know everything else, which is a rehash of everything else, you know. It was it was it was just a refreshing new story, which I enjoyed immensely. You know, it was it's about an hour and a half long, hour and a half movie, so it's not overly long. Um, it is very well paced. You don't find yourself getting bored or bogged down in you know, in story or emotion or this that or the other. You know, everything just moves along at a very steady pace. Um, so you don't, yeah, you don't find yourself getting bored or looking at your watch or anything like that. So all in all, I have to give this movie a very, very good rating. I have to give it a seven and a half to eight out of ten, to be honest. Uh, I enjoyed it immensely. I'll definitely be going back and watching it again, um, as I do with all the Predator movies, because I do enjoy 
pretty much all of them except for the last one um but yeah you know it, it's got rewatchability it's a, it's a you know got got good story fantastic actors you know as i said before amber uh, mid thunder was fantastic um stephanie mathias uh is in it uh michelle michelle thrush uh dakota Be- beavers um you know look, e- everyone involved in this did a fantastic job and i cannot fault them one at all at no point did i th- i think that anyone was calling it in or they were faking too much or you know everything just everything was just perfect with this movie if i'm completely honest it, it was a perfect movie um from start to finish top to bottom you know there's nothing i would have changed um you know it it yeah perfect perfect predator movie i'd have to say um now it is not as good as the original to me i am a purist the original predator with um arnold schwarzenegger is the og it is the best predator movie ever made however this is a very close second um but you know what go out there watch it for yourself and tell me what your thoughts are i'd be very interested to know if people agree with me or disagree with me so check it out it's on disney plus or huli whatever you have available to you pray it's out now so uh head on over check it out make up your own mind and then uh hit me up in the comments below let me know your thoughts did you enjoy it as much as i did do you think it was as as much of a flawless movie as i did um yeah i'll be interested to know your comments also if there's anything else that you would like for me to do a review of uh there's lots of tv shows coming up uh we've got she hulk we've got house of the dragon we've got the new uh lord of the Rings series i will be doing reviews on all of these um as they as they come out we've also got heaps of movies coming out uh next week i'll be doing a review of nope the new jordan peele movie um and we've got lots of uh, unboxing videos coming out as well. We've still got three more videos uh, uh, to come out of Mrs. Jack the Nerdy Mystery Box uh, series. And we've got heaps of hot toys coming in, lots of new deliveries coming in uh, every other week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss out on a video. And if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up because that encourages us to keep going. So... With that out of the way, until next time, guys, stay jacked and stay nerdy.